Hey, I'm here with Caleb Pontius from Rockport, and uh, we're live at the NTEA Work Truck Week. So, uh, Caleb, tell me what is new at Rockport this year. Yeah, so really for the most part, uh, we could just continue to grow our, our bailment offerings, continue to give uh, a lot of dealers a lot of, of great options for getting access to product, which has right been on. a challenge over the last few years with for the sure. pandemic. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just uh, we just continue to, to add features for the most part to our current vehicles, more productive uh, to make, make our clients more productive with their jobs. So Right on. This thing that's behind us is a really unique rig. Can you yeah. tell us more about it? Yeah, so this is our, our, it's our one of our most popular models, our Workport uh, product. So essentially it's a service body. Uh, obviously there's other folks in the industry doing it, but we actually use a plate material for our wall material. Uh, some of our competition outside of the traditional metal service bodies, like your Napai, your Reddings, that provide a nice steel or metal body. Yeah. Uh, this is a different type of material. It's more of a plate with a composite core to it. Okay. Uh, so very durable, but just uh, just a different type of build. And um, so we, we just continue to evolve this product, make it more productive, make it more user friendly. So. Very cool. You know, I'm from out west, or at least uh, that's where I live now, and um, we rarely see units like this. It's usually more your yep. open utility body. Yep. So um, is this a vehicle that you see demand for just in Rust Belt states? Or? I, I think, yeah, it's a great uh, point you bring up. So it is a product that's definitely more popular in the Northeast. Okay. It's more popular in the Midwest, and it's, it's more popular in the Mid-Atlantic, and it's starting to make more uh, headway in the South. Okay. You probably don't see the enclosed service bodies as much in the West because the weather is just so much better. You know, right. you don't have the harsh winters, yeah. especially uh, in, in the uh, central and lower states. But mm -hmm. uh, so it's a very, very popular product. Um, but but got its start and is extremely popular, as I said, in the Northeast, okay. Mid-Atlantic, and in the Midwest. So. I just see this as maybe an opportunity where guys in major metros like L.A. or San Francisco yeah. or Seattle, where they're concerned about security, mm -hmm. like maybe that could be a, a thing yep. where an enclosed uh, utility body would be advantageous. Yeah, I don't it, know. it gives them that flexibility, right? Okay. So a lot of people yeah. like that outside storage, but there's a lot of applications where they have bigger components, stuff that they don't want walking off if they have to step yeah. away from their truck for a little bit. Right on. Uh, but also to protect from the weather. Obviously, if it's raining, if yeah. it's you know if you're in a high uh, a state with a lot of uh, a lot of sun, you know it gets sure. warm. It gives you a little shade, obviously, to work out of the back end and kind of create a mobile workshop on the inside. Very cool. So, can you open up yeah. uh, some of the yeah. drawers here? Or how's that work? Absolutely. So, obviously, a traditional uh, service pack right here. Yeah. Um, but we you know we'll utilize drawer, drawer units. Uh, common to the industry uh, obviously aluminum good quality drawer units just making people more productive for storage of their tools yep uh, one of the newer options as well that we've offered uh, here recently is in our traditional uh, horizontal compartments we have just often given them open space or bin packages where they could put small parts and pieces okay just a new offering this year given some versatility in this storage okay given some pull out drawers into these horizontal slots either a single or a dual stack up okay. again just allowing them easier access one of our features on our body is uh, gives us the ability to hook this uh, this door up and essentially use it as a prep station. So if I slide oh, this in here. Oh, now that's cool. And yeah. uh, it gives them a little work surface. You know, yeah, if they want to yeah. prep for a job, mm -hmm. you got some spot here for small pieces and parts, sockets, you know, fasteners. Yep. Just gives them a, an option for a, a work surface to, that's, that's to utilize great. on the outside. Maybe somebody has an older one of these. Could they come back for a retrofit on something like this? Would yep. that be something you do? We absolutely could, but okay. actually that's an option. That specific yeah. option we've been offering for quite a long time. It's been one of, oh, one of okay. the things that this product, uh, obviously one of the features that people really liked about this product. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So anything else unique or uh, something else you want to tell the I, folks about uh, Yeah, I think, I think one of the strengths of Rockport, uh, especially in the last few years as we've grown, is with our bailment and with our uh, our capacity. We moved into a new facility. Our original facility, was, oh. we, we've been in business 20 years. Okay. Our original facility, we were in for 18 and a half, 19 of those years, and we just ran into a new facility, which doubled our capacity. And right now, our, our biggest strength is our access to product. We Our lead times uh, mm. are pretty much second to none. We can get a vehicle like this to a customer within anywhere from four to six to eight weeks, depending okay. on, the, on the complexity yep. from the time that the chassis arrives. So Beautiful. right now, lead times are a challenge for a lot of folks. Um, yeah. And so we can we can turn product pretty quickly and, our, yeah. and it's, a, it's a good value for the, for the and price. And remind me, where is your production facility yeah. based? Thank you. So we're, yeah. we're actually two facilities. We have one in uh, Northern Indiana, in Elkhart, Indiana. Uh, and then our second facility is in South Georgia, in Osceola, Georgia. Oh, wow. um, so be okay. between the two facilities, we have the capacity to do about up to 60 vehicles per day. Whoa! Uh, between okay. the two facilities with yeah. the right mix and, and yeah. depending on the situation. So. Well, awesome, man. Thank you for yeah, your time, absolutely. Caleb. Thanks for Pleasure having me. Pleasure talking to you today.